This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. Today, we are sending out yet another video review this time, uh, taking a look at an application called Clash Shot. Um, I believe is the pronunciation that would be most applicable here, per perhaps Class Hot. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. It's available for free in the App Store, and it offers a very unique function. That is to say, the app is designed to sort of take your photos, um, let's put it this way, it's really designed for those people that like taking photos on their iPhone and occasionally snap a photo and think, well, that might have actually been useful to someone, I could have probably sold that photo to someone. Um, in the same way that uh, sort of we see applications redefining the way that we deal with media content or media creation on the iPhone, um, or anywhere for that matter. Um, then that that's more or less what uh, we would say. Sorry, I just got a message. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Um, more or less what we're dealing with here, an app that's designed to sort of, um, well, let's say change the way that we deal with photojournalism. So obviously the idea here is that you set up a profile, which I've already done. Then you go to the camera and you can either snap a photo directly um, from the application as in this app interface here. Obviously I'm in a dark room so you can't see anything but you can hit shoot. Uh, we're going to do something slightly different. But instead, actually let's go ahead. Let's just snap a, a black photo. So obviously nothing going on there. Um, let's go ahead and we'll close this. Take a look at the photos that I've just snapped. So obviously you can go through, let's say you're at an event or something important is happening, you can take several photos at once. Um, which is an ideal way to do that in sort of a photojournalistic sense. Um, what I want to do instead is upload a photo, so let's do this, and then I'll go to my camera roll and find a photo that I really want to upload. Um, let's go with this one. You hit done. There it is. I want to delete this one. Hit delete. Mm -hmm. And now I've got a photo. So then once I'm done with that, I want to hit next. And then go through and then actually add information for this report. It treats each photo exactly as it would some sort of news report. Um, so just baked cupcakes. Like that. Hit done, choose a category. I'm going to select my life. I could um, possibly, let's do food and drink instead. Comes with a lot of different categories, um, lots of different areas within which you can submit different. Um, different reports. We're going to hit that. Go to tags. Let's go cupcakes. And baking. That sounds good. Then hit send. And then away it will go. Um, obviously it's giving a warning that of course it's going to be reviewed. And the uh, good people at uh, Clash Shot will actually review what it is that you're saying um, or that you're submitting. And if they like it, then uh, they will accept it. If they don't, They'll reject it. That's what that message was just telling me a second ago. And this is a good example of what is typically accepted. These are obviously lots of paparazzi photos that are straight uh, from the feed section. Nothing special going on here. Um, um, rather, this is my feed, so these are the people that I'm following. If you'd like to change this, you can go to best, my reports, favorites, or latest. You can also check different categories. So let's go in and let's say that I want to check out more people. I can do that by hitting people. It filters it out. I get all of the new information. Which is pretty cool. Um, as far as that goes, you can check out your actual profile. So essentially, once a photo is accepted by the Class Shot people, then what will happen is that um, it'll be up on this market, and if it's used, then you will start to accrue a balance. So obviously, people can purchase the licenses, and then um, it will be added to your balance eventually. If you want to remove that money and add it to your bank account, excuse me, you can chew on a cough drop. Very easy. You can simply go in, hit PayPal um, or Web Money if you prefer. Either service is fine. Enter your account. Enter the amount of money. There is a fifty dollar minimum, so you're going to have to earn quite a bit before you get there. Um, and then it just goes straight to your bank account, which is very very easy. You can also view detailed statistics at any point in time. Um, so quite nice there. It'll give you a total breakdown of how many photos you've submitted or reports and how many have been accepted. Then settings, pretty basic stuff going on there. So to give our final wrap up, uh, let's talk about design for just a second. Obviously, designing the application is adequate. It's certainly good. Uh, I've got lots of tab navigational controls at the bottom, very simple to jump around. 
not as friendly as something as, uh, say, Instagram, but then again, does it really need to be? Um, we're not so sure on that. Um, aside from that, it's a it's certainly a solid application. The concept has been well done and well implemented well implemented within the layout. Um, we also liked how simple it is to add photos. That being said, uh, you're going to be drawn to this for the money reason rather than the artistic one. It does come with filters and things, which is nice. Um, but at the end of the day, it, it's not really the same sort of application as something like Instagram. So, keeping that in mind, if you're interested in this for this concept, for the money, the withdrawals, the you know potential to sell your photos, then jump on it. It's free, you've got nothing to lose, and you might actually gain something. We're not exactly sure how much you could earn, because um, we have yet to actually do that. And the stats on this, as far as uh, other people we've talked to, is kind of out there. Uh, but presumably, you can make some decent cash, especially if you're like some of these people who are always around celebrities. Uh, you could do that fairly well and make some make some serious dough. Um, other than that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's all right. And that's basically the best way to sum it up. You're not going to use this for the creative potential, but you might use it for the bank, uh, bank increasing potential. And as a free app, you've hardly got anything to lose. So at the end of the day, what do we give it? We give Clash Shot a 3.5 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhone app .com. And that is all we have to say about it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign out, but we will see you guys later. Bye.